figured I would do another one of these a little bit sooner than normal. Um, honestly, only because, like, they're something that I got relatively recently um, off of, I want to say it was one of Theo's videos that I wanted to chat about. You guys know what it is per the title. Um, so, enough waffling. <laughs> uh, the Legacy Speedia 500 Walmart exclusive, technically, GoBots universe, I think. I don't know. Me. Um, Fracture, or Crasher, as it, she was originally known. Um, honestly, I hadn't experienced this mold before, because I just, it didn't feel like a mirage to me. So I was intrigued when, um, again, I believe it was Theo, uh, said in his, like, best Transformers, like, the top ten of the ones that I got in 2023, um, when he said this one was really fun. Um, figured, why the hell not? Um, I just didn't really bother with a lot of that Speedia 500 line other than paying out the ass for Cosmos, um, because a lot of it didn't really move the needle for me, um, but, you know, eventually I might track other ones from it down, we'll see, but, you know, the fact that it was a Walmart exclusive was kind of annoying because, oh god, the closest Walmart to me when that subline was happening in Legacy was just a complete, out in Pittsburgh, was like a complete dead zone when I was living out that way. Um, but yeah, anyway, Fracture. Um, maybe it's also because of the the basics on Fracture or Crasher that Chris McFeely did relatively recently as well. Um, but I really like this mold and I really like it as Crasher. Like I said, it didn't really fit as Mirage to me. Um, and I'm in that camp where with the, like, the original classics, like, 2006-ish Mirage, that mold to me is still really good. Sure, it is a bit spindly, but it's not, like, as, like, floppy and wobbly, um, as people have, I guess, said it is, like, now t almost, like, 20 years, or approaching 20 years out. Um, I just, I still really like that mold. It's fun. And I had the crasher repaint of that mold in my display on the shelf that's right below you guys for a long time basically since we moved here to maryland um but i was doing some sorting through stuff in there recently found another one and just you know i figured this will be the uh the fracture that i have on display and honestly like other than the issue that literally everybody had where there's no port here for this gun for the missile launcher um which I'm sure there's an upgrade kit that, like, put, like, a little bracket piece onto there or something. That almost went underneath the bookcase. That would have been a pain. Um, but, yeah, other than that and the fact that the head sculpt is just a straight repaint of Mirage, and it is kind of... <laughs> it's kind of a derpy head sculpt. Um, I, I do actually really like this mold. Um, it's not the... It's not the best Mirage mold. I don't even know what you would qualify or what you would say is the best Mirage mold. And I'm not a fan of the hollow forearms, um, even if it's necessary because of transformation and everything. And that was very of the time. But, you know, I like it a lot. The transformation's fun. I like the engineering in the legs. Um, the fake chest doesn't bother me as much as I thought it would. Um, and as much as some people said it did. And, like, it's just fun. Um, I do, I'm very curious to see if there is, like, an alternate head, like, an official upgrade kit, or, like, just, like, a fan-made good quality upgrade kit that has more of a, like, cartoon-accurate head, um, for this fracture. So if there is, for the two of you that watch my videos, pop it in the comments, please. Um, but, yeah, no, I just, I really like this as Crasher, and I really, or Fracture, I keep calling her the copyright skirting name because they didn't have the copyright for a uh, fracture. Um, I don't know, I just, I really like this as fracture. And I mean, the shelf that it'll end up being on is kind of crowded, but you know, it's fun. Um, yeah, so if you haven't gotten it, I would check it out, honestly, it's a fun mold. Um, that's all there really is to say. Uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one.